Okay, I had this plant for about a year and a half. It was like an emotional support plant for me. Um, what was his name? His name was Moo. I named him that before I even met Jake. After that guy. But we got a puppy and I left my plant. By the way, shipped him all the way from Alaska. And then got here and this little guy ate it. <laughs> he bit it, broke off all of his leaves. So now we may as well put the leaves to good use. To good use. Let's well, Moo, do you want to eat yourself? No. <gasps> he doesn't like you. Annabelle? Moo? I mean, what about this long grass? Hannibal? Moo, thank you for weed eating. My dad's gonna appreciate that. Oh, oh he likes that one. <laughs> what about this one, Moo? He doesn't like this one. Be nice to Annabelle. Hey, quit cattle dogging our cattle. Hi. You don't like this? You well, don't like it? I won't eat the grass, but I will take some lovin's. You ready to get fed, big guy? I'll go get you some feed already. So this time of year, we're gonna start doing something a little bit different. We brought them cubes instead of grains because they need to start getting weaned off of grains a little bit. Just mainly focus on eating hay and grass, and that's what cubes are, is basically, did you know that, baby, that cubes are just basically like compressed hay? Yeah. So it's basically the same thing as them just getting hay. So you just put them along here. And this will still give them the feeling of grains, but the benefits of the hay. Hold on, Rip. Oh yeah, Rip, I'm going to spread this out a little bit more. Okay, there y'all go. There y'all go, y'all are good. Now it's loving time. Now it's loving time. You got Moo covered? All right, I'll go after Rip. When I say go after him, I just mean try to pet him a little bit. Hey, Annabelle. Hey, sweet baby, you're finally here. Well, where are you going? You gonna, come here, Rip. Come here, Annabelle. You can't depend on Moo to protect you forever. Well, okay, you kind of can, but still. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a big old brush for them. Yeah, like one of those big brushes that we sweep the floor with. Those push a push brooms. broom? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I actually have one in the back of the truck. I'll, I'm going to grab it real quick. Alright, let's cut something for your flies. Come on, dude. Hey, oh my gosh. Why wouldn't he like that? That one feels so good. It's what he scratches on on the scratching post thing. Maybe well, that's... If I don't move it and he just comes to it. <laughs> Annabelle, you want to scratch? Oh, there ain't no way she's going <laughs> to let us anywhere near her. Especially with that broom. All right, you doing good, Moody? Do y'all like these cubes? Rip is going to skip on the cubes. He's just going to go straight to grass. I want to see if he'll play with his ball. I bet if we left this here, he'd come back and he'd be broken in the morning. Probably. From him scratching. We should use that tomorrow to build him a scratching, a scratching post thing. Yeah. Like the log. We've seen this picture of a scratching, of like that broom head on a log that's laying like sideways on the ground like this. And the broom head across it and they'll use it they'll put their neck down like that and they'll scratch across it so we might have to whip one of those up for all Mustafa in the gang hey do y'all not like cubes or what huh what's wrong with cubes what's wrong with eating cubes there ain't nothing don't make those noises to me you know there's nothing wrong with eating some cubes dang flab it fine if you don't like them i get it Bye, guys. Have a great day.
I was really curious last night where these guys would sleep. Melissa and I were wondering, we are talking about it, all the places they might sleep, which yesterday in the afternoon, they were laying right here, right on the other side of the fence. But I guess they decided to go out a little bit further, but look at them. All huddled up together, cuddled up. Rip has no care in the world to go yell at Moses right now, which is good. But it's early in the morning, guys. We got to get started with work. I'm going to go out here and love on the cows for a little bit, and then we got to get to it. We have all the materials for the house. It's over there. Well, there's the back corner of the trailer, but it's all stacked full of materials. So we're going to be working on all that today. We're going to try to finish the electric fence today. Get everything all situated to where it goes. So it's going to be a very, very busy day. I got to climb over. I got to climb over. Okay, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, Moose. There you go. Good boy. Good boy, Moose. It won't be too long before Moose is way too big to be doing that. This morning, i going to walk out and check on the hog trap. See what's going on down there, if anything. I hope we got them, guys, because I am so tired of them coming out here at night and tearing up our pasture. Good morning, Moo. Moose is going to take the long work. Come here, Moose. It's okay. I know they're big, but they will not get you. They won't get you, I promise. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Let's see. You're a good girl. Wow, that's improvement. That's major improvement. Good girl, Annabelle. Good girl, baby. Good girl, baby. Wow. She has never allowed me to touch her back and now she's just letting me love on her come here i know you're a longhorn look the horn game we're playing the horn game good boy good boy no you don't gotta go you don't gotta go neither moose i think you scared him you were hurting our cattle you're not supposed to <laughs> look at this what hey stop doing that to him He's just trying to love you. Did y'all see that? How much Annabelle was letting me love on her? That's a sweet baby. That's a sweet girl. Good girl. And look, Rip's not even running away. This is awesome. This is peace. This brings me great peace being out here with these cows this morning. This little cardinal sitting over here. That's a pretty song you're singing. I really like that. Moose, can you believe that Annabelle let us pet him? Look out for Rip, though. He can horn you. He can horn you at any moment. Come here. You guys got some flies, so today you're going to get sprayed. Look at this. He's not running away. That's really awesome. It's probably because Moose is hurting him to stay right here. Look, how come the flies are gathering just on the base of his horns? What would be the reason of that? Like, they're not on his... Like, he has some on his body, but why are they mainly gathered right on each side of, like, where his horns go into his head? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling y'all, everywhere I go and I look, there's a punk looking through the fence at me. <laughs> y'all are good cows. Come here. Can I love you some? At least sniff me. Make me feel good. Really? You're just going to give me the cold shoulder? That's not cool. Annabelle, baby, your horns are almost as long as rips. Your horns are almost as long as rips. Good babies. I don't know what's gotten into these guys, but they're, like, right now, like, it's just so calm. Everything out here is just so calm and peaceful. All the cows are being lovey. Rip, I just said it's calm. What? <sighs> Let's go check the hog trap, y'all. <laughs> You're a good boy. I love you. Thank you for showing these cows how to be good. Loving cows. <laughs> and don't blow moose away with your with your snorts. Yeah, trapper, though, trapper. 
You're trying a forceful petting method. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Billy. Good boy. Okay. Hi. Will she get them from me like Billy? Oh, no. she's way more. Oh, great. She just now caught it off the side of the fence. Fern won't get I, nothing. I, I don't, don't lick me. <laughs> Look at his little teeth in there. <laughs> Ew, dude. You licked my whole phone. Yeah. And they're kind of like sandpapered. Bree, will you grab me that fly spray right there? Uh... No, because the sprayer's broke. Oh my gosh. Well, I got another bottle at home. I have a... Moose, oh. you're not a cow. I I, you're a cattle cow. dog, not a cattle cow. It's sad because Billy gets most of them because I like to feed him more. <laughs> Your breath stinks, Billy. It really does. Yeah, when are you you're mixing up that sprayer today? And I'll have plenty to do all of them, so... Take it Billy! Maybe I should just dump these out the old fashioned way because Billy's not gonna let anyone else get one. Hold on, Billy, we're gonna try a trick. I wanna try a trick. We're gonna balance it on your nose and then Billy, you're gonna get it. I'm Billy! I'm trying to feed Fern. Billy, look. Let's balance it on your nose. Billy, right here. Billy! Billy! Here! You're gonna... Billy! Billy, quit ramming everybody! You're a maniac! <laughs> Who? Watch for Wait, dump some for Billy. Or just a few, just a few. Hold on, Billy. You should put, take that whole bucket out there. No, Billy would never do that. Billy's a sweet guy. Watch her little nose as it goes up. As she eats. Oh, you gotta find it. Maybe her nostrils are broken. Brie, I have like no energy today and I have like so much stuff to do. So I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna do any of it. We're about to go to the what's it called? The DM diner. We're gonna have some chocolate milk and biscuits and gravy. Doesn't that sound good? Oh yeah, give me a chocolate milk on the way home. No, they're all out. Give me a chocolate milk. I think home. they're all out. Miss, there's nothing else in Just there. Just get a refill before you leave and bring the whole glass. You want me to bring? You want me to try to steal a cup from the from the D and M diner? You pay for that drink. Not the cup. They didn't clarify that. They are a local small business, Brienne. Well, then tell them we'll bring it back tomorrow. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Okay, guys. Well, it's been learned today that Brienne is a thief, and uh, that's all for this one. Bye, guys. Have a great day, and uh, wish me luck on finding some energy. I haven't had a Red Bull in about a week, and I might break that streak today for sure.